All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video where you join us on a crazy little coastal adventure here. This is a special video because today we've come to record jellyfish, folks. This could potentially be an underwater episode, which I've done before on videos. I'm hoping I can get some crazy shots of some jellyfish in this video, folks. So yeah, when I saw the train coming, I thought I'll just do the intro and look at this. We're at the coast, one of my favorite spots behind the Elephant Rock and that, looking up towards Ozen. And I can see there's a crazy looking boat out there. I don't know if it's a fishing boat or what, but yeah, folks, what an adventure. We're away to go and try and find jellyfish, so. Let's see what we can find. So this is a little intermission early in this video, folks, because since the time of recording this episode, I've researched the type of jellyfish that we've seen. And I can tell you that, well, when I recorded what you're about to see in this video, I didn't even know anything about the jellyfish, and I was amazed at what I saw. But the red, kind of orangey type of jellyfish in this video is actually what you call lion's mane jellyfish and it's one of the largest breeds of jellyfish in the world and one of the most deadliest venoms in their tentacles but i'll tell you something about this crazy jellyfish folks they have been recorded in size of seven foot across at the dome top and then they've been recorded in 122 feet long their tentacles folks i mean how, just imagine the size of that it's almost from like here to the other side of Elephant Rock and that would be the one jellyfish and that's the lion's main jellyfish and you get to see smaller examples of that in this video folks see another cool thing as well there's another type of jellyfish featuring in this episode and it, it, it looks like it's got lights glinting up and down the side of it and you can see a few of them on the video and they are actually known as comb jellyfish and yeah they're a crazy highly venomous sting as well apparently which is crazy to me like all that's in the water two of the most deadly stings on a jellyfish and it's in the water here at the north sea but those lion main jellyfish they really enjoy colder water and that's how they can be found in the north sea there was a couple of dead moon jellyfish floating about as well and apparently those lion's main jellyfish would follow those other types of jellyfish around feeding on them eating them because they basically eat anything that makes contact with their tentacles and they can eat other jellyfish and stuff like that because they just live off protein and stuff like that they don't have a brain they're a crazy animal folks but anyway let's get into this video what you're about to see we didn't even know any of those details at the time of filming folks so let's get into it some crazy underwater action as well in this episode This is crazy folks. I've come down to the water's edge here where I did spot two massive jellyfish yesterday and there's still two massive ones down here. This is absolutely insane. It's so cool to record stuff like this. It's like bright red, orangey coloured jellyfish and each of them's got millions of tentacles and they're in the part of the water where the sun is shining which I've noticed a lot of that sort of, a lot of these red jellyfish seem to do that. Check that out folks, look at the size of those things. Whoa, some of their tentacles is actually, look at them. Look at those tentacles like. I don't know how well that comes out on the camera there folks, but wow. That is absolutely crazy. That's the sort of jellyfish that you get in the Scottish waters here folks. And I'm not sure if they come into this calmer side water here to get like, to lay their eggs, to lay the little jellyfish. But those ones are orange. Whoa. When the water's clear, it's crazy. They must be getting the sunlight right now. This is so cool, folks. Because we're high above the water here, I can't really get the camera down under the water like I want to do. I want to try and get a recording under the water of these magnificent creatures here. Look at the vivid orange color of them. Orangey red. And underneath, it's like a dense brown. Almost looks like a crazy mushroom of some sort wow what a crazy animal that is it's like the size of a basketball or something there just floating about but the crazy thing the tentacles on that one there are like two meters long potentially because i can see them going way down into the darkness 
See the tentacles there? Yeah. Crazy, folks. Anyway, we're going to try and find some more of these magnificent beasts and we'll get back to you, folks. Look at this, folks. This one here has started to swim around. It was just turning around and, like, facing the bottom. This is insane. Look at its tentacles. Wow. That is eerie. They are spooky looking animals right there. Crazy. I want to get the camera down near under the water and see the way they're moving. Look at that, eh? It's such a strange animal. Look at that one. It's kicking off, does it know, against the surface? It wasn't like that a minute ago, is it? <laughs> That one there is pulsing against the surface of the water. Wow, they're strange beings. That one's almost a lighter colour now. Would you agree, no? Yeah. Crazy wildlife, folks. The sun is reflecting at that one, so it's hard to see it. I think that one's been getting hit against the rocks or something, because the corner's missing off it.
check this out folks we're now out way out on a rock here just at the back of elephant rock and the scenes are absolutely crazy those jellyfish that we've seen it was unreal i wasn't able to record kind of the massive red ones too close under the water because i wasn't able to reach down in and get them on film but what we have seen has been crazy and a day like this kind of so cool coming to the coast the sea is so blue and that's the first time I've done an underwater video since like last year, I think it was. Underwater Angus, folks. And it's so cool to see jellyfish and stuff. But yeah, epic adventures, folks. Right, folks, that's been something different. We've been looking at what's under the water with that jellyfish action. Sorry about that, other channel, DJ. But that, I'm doing the outro here because we're almost back up in the car. It's been a crazy adventure. I can't even believe what is under the water and in the sea. And that's how I don't like swimming in the sea. I think the lens is still a little bit cloudy from the seawater, folks, but we'll get that clean before the next episode. But I'll end this one here. Goodbye for me. Goodbye for the channel, DJ. And we'll see you very soon for the next adventure.